You know, and let me just show some things from God's word. Everything is not going to be fine with God's people. And that's why we need to take hold of this word and positively move on with God. God's people are going to suffer many things. Suffer loss of many things. In Luke chapter 12, 47 and 48. You know, some of God's people are going to be beaten with many stripes. And some will be beaten with few stripes. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whosoever much is given of him shall be much required, whom men have committed much of him they, shall, they will ask the more. But some are going to go through this. Again the Lord says in Matthew chapter 8 verse 12, verse 12, But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The, the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Some are going to be weeping and gnashing their teeth on that day of the Lord. Now when we turn to chapter 2 Timothy and chapter 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2, But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor. Some are going to be vessels of honor and least in the kingdom of God and some will be vessels of dishonor and some will be vessels of honor. Matthew chapter 5 verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. So there are, there are those who are going to be least in the kingdom. There are going to be those who are, who are greatest in the kingdom. There will be some which are vessels of dishonor. There will be those of honor as well. All right. So let's not take it, you know, lightly. These are things that will happen. This is God's word. And let's take it seriously into our life. Turn with me to the book of Revelation and chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 4. Thou hast a few names even in, in, in Sadis which have not defiled their garments. They shall walk with me in white for they are worthy. Now this verse makes it clear there will be some who will be allowed to walk with Jesus in white. Yes, they will walk with Christ in white. They will, they will walk with other believers who will walk with Christ in white. Now, this is what the Lord said to the church in Sardis. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15. Any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. So, the scripture says, some are going to have all that they have done burned up. Can we comprehend this? What it will be like when everything we have done unto God is turned into ashes whole lifetime you know some are going to suffer these things all that are written some 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 are going to go through this Matthew chapter 22 instead of going on to our inheritance if we have to suffer these things what a loss it is Matthew chapter 22 and verse 13 then said the king to the servants bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Some are going to be thrown into outer darkness. Let me show you another scripture from Revelation chapter 3. The book of Revelation chapter 3, verse 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. And I will confess his name before my father. And before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He says, I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. I will not blot out their name out of the book of life. So those who are not walking with him in white, their names could be blot out of the book of life. Yes. That's what it means. Some are going to suffer the loss, loss of their inheritance, loss of that fullness. And remember what they're going to suffer, sins of God. We need to have proper understanding about this calling in Christ Jesus. The atonement is not just forgiveness of sin, but the purpose of his atonement is to bring us into the fullness in Christ.